So this question says a business owner plans to purchase the same model of chair for each of the 81 employees. This is looking like a translate word problem, by the way, um, which just means I want to stop at the end of each sentence to make sure I understood what I read before moving on and making sure I definitely write down any quantitative information. So, so far from this first sentence, I know that there are 81 employees. So I'm going to just write that down. Uh, the next sentence says the total budget to spend on these chairs is $14,000, which includes a 7% sales tax. So there is some value X, that's the real budget. And when you add 7% to that, which will be 0 0.07 times X, you get $14,000. Right? So that's my translation of what I just read. Um, which of the following is closest to the maximum possible price per share before sales tax the business owner could pay based on this budget so a couple of ways to answer this question first of all x represents the price of the um the price of all 81 chairs so x divided by 81 would be the price per chair that we're looking for so I can actually solve this equation because x plus zero, I'm sorry, x plus 0.07x is just 1.07x. So if I have 1.07x equals 14,000, I can divide both sides of that equation by 1.07. Go to my calculator, 14,000 divided by 1.07 is equal to $13,084 and looks like 11 cents. So that's how much they can spend on all 81 chairs before adding the 7% tax to get them up to 14000 So again, if I want to know how much per chair, I have to divide that value by 81. So divide by 81 in my calculator. And what I'm getting is that each chair can cost up to $161.53. So that would be my answer, choice B. Now, of course, another way to solve this is to go to the answer choices and simply multiply each one by 81. The trick to this, however, is after multiplying by 81, you'd want to then add the 7% tax, but maybe we wouldn't really have to do that. For instance, choice D, $184.94 times 81 is $14,980.14. That's already above the total that can be spent. So we know that that doesn't matter. There's no need to deal with sales tax on that. For choice C, 81 times $172.84 is just barely over $14,000, $14,004. And that, that does not include the tax. And that's why choice C is gone. So choice C might trick a few people if they're using this strategy of just simply multiplying each answer by 81. If they simply forgot about adding the 7% sales tax, they may say, oh, well, that's you know, choice C is a very good answer. It's pretty much 14000 But that's why choice C would not work because we're at 14000 after sales tax. And these values here are for the price per chair before sales tax. So anyway, this is the translation from the word problem. We solved that translation here to figure out the value of the total cost of the chairs pre-tax divided by 81 to figure out the total or the cost per chair, and that's how we get our answer.